Well, apparently we were a few moments too early in Jason's hotel room there. He will be back later in the program with Tom. Well, Asafalomo chops away on popcorn from our concession stand. As I was saying, Jason will be back later in the program with comments regarding his man, Mr. Hughes, taking on Hawk this Saturday. And I can assure you, his comments are most insightful, to say the least. Stay tuned for that. But right now, these six men are ready to get at it. It's Sal Balomo, Iron Man Tommy Cairo, and Tommy Dreamer facing the Rockin' Rebel, the Pitbull, and Jimmy Superfly Snooker. And I can't wait to see Dreamer hook it up with Jimmy Snooker. We saw what happened here in the last couple of months. Tommy Dreamer, the first man ever to survive the Superfly Splash. Superfly Jimmy Snooker still can't believe it himself. And you can bet he's looking to put Dreamer in his place. And those two will meet one-on-one -on -one this Saturday night at the ECW Arena. Well, the popcorn is flying here. Of course, Sal hates to see food go to waste. Of course, the meeting of the minds at ringside, as there you see Hunter Q and Jason in the corner of the Pitfall, the Rebel, and Jimmy Snook. Sal will almost get the fans going, and they're certainly responding as the Iron Man, Tommy Cairo, is set to lock up with the Pitbull. Pitbull and Cairo jump off trying to test the power of one another. Cairo turning around, he's got a few words for Snooker. This Pitbull's one tough customer. Not a great finesse athlete, but he certainly is more entertaining than the Mongolian Mall. Colin Elbow tie up. Pitbull goes downstairs with the knee. And now, side rushing leg sweep on the Iron Man. But oddly enough, does not go for the cover as Sal Balomo distracts the pitfall. That may have saved the pitfall. Gives Sal an apron. Belly to belly suplex. The pitfall wasting no time here. Again, not going for the cover. There we go. One, two, and well, two count only. Tommy Cairo still in it. Although a few more of those suplexes, and he will not. Pitbull winding up that arm. What a kick by the pitfall. Right on the point of the jaw. There is an athlete well studied in both martial arts and submission maneuvers. And again, that same kick to the face. And Tommy Cairo is staring at the arena lights. Pitbull now stomping away on the forehead of Iron Man Tommy Cairo is pretty much defenseless at this point. Those two kicks to the side of the jaw would be enough to floor any man. Snapmare now. Cairo's in the wrong corner. Referee taunting Palomo. This gives an opportunity. Well, the Rock and Rebel rubbing the popcorn in the eyes of Tommy Cairo. There is a man who can turn anything into a weapon. Anything at all. You name it, he can find a way to hurt somebody with it. The Pitbull now cinching up the Iron Man. Snap suplex by the Pitbull. Tommy Cairo has got to make a tag. And there you see the sadistic smile of Superfly Jimmy Snooker. The Pitbull now setting up for, well, drops the fist across the forehead of Cairo. The Pitbull, another athlete who really enjoys his work. Leg drop across the chest of Cairo, who is now gasping. Wait a minute, Cairo's up. Cairo is up. You lose your sleeves, is that all you can afford? Whip in, reversal. Here comes the Pitbull, power slam. What velocity, what impact, one. Two, two, oh, two count only. Fantastic power slam by Cairo. Off the ropes, spinning kick by the Iron Man. I haven't seen that one yet. Well, everyone's pulling out all the stuff. After all, we're just four days away from Funk's Revenge. There's a fever pitch in the air of the ECW Arena, and all these athletes can feel it as Del Malomo stumps away on the midsection of the pit bull. And look at the boots of Sal Malomo. Those things must weigh about 10 pounds each. Of course, the weather outside here in Philadelphia, who can blame him for wearing it? Maybe he forgot to put on his wrestling boots. Well, if anyone can improvise, it certainly would be Sal Balomo, who is now just hammering away on the pit bull like a railroad spike. Tag in now to Tommy Dreamer. 
And now Dreamer comes in. Oh, I'd love to see the Pitbull tag in Jimmy Snooker. I don't want to wait till Saturday night. I want to see the match now. Tag back into Cairo. It's Tommy Dreamer, he didn't break a sweat. Pitbull showing you another one of his favorite wrestling maneuvers. Right to the face. And here comes the Rebel, another finesse athlete. The Rebel uh, is doing a little psychology. Got caught with the hip toss. Well, here go a couple of old friends. Sal Balomo and the Rebel. You can bet Sal Balomo hasn't forgotten the cherry took to the side of the face. I certainly won't forget that anytime soon. What are you complaining about? Besides that horrible outfit. Rebel now hammering away on Sal Balomo. The Rebel draws in Tommy Dreamer. That, of course, will distract the referee as the Pitbull and the Superfly walk over Sal Balomo in the corner. Well, you've got to give the Rebel credit. He's just not a roughhouser. There's a man who can employ ring psychology. And he is just a nasty individual who could not pass up the opportunity to take a cheap shot at Sal Balomo himself. The Pitbull, I believe, has been tagged in and is now unloading on the point of the jaw of Balomo. Pitbull coming for the momentum and lands across the back of the neck of Sal Balomo, who just had his throat draped across that second rope. Sal desperately trying to make the tag. He's got to reach either, either Dreamer or Cairo, but the Pitbull will not allow it, cutting off the ring. That is smart tag team wrestling. Balomo trying try desperately to break away from the Pitbull, who continues to work over the arm. Rebel now choking away on Balomo. Biting, he's biting Balomo! Well, the Rock and Rebel just do some more popcorn and rake across the face of Sal Balomo. As I've said before, this man can turn any household object into a weapon. As the Rebel distracts the referee, the Superfly stomps away and says, you know, I, I want to see Dreamer and the Superfly go at it. I'm not going to wait until Saturday night. Well, the referee was shoved down, but is immediately back up to his feet. This is Eastern Championship. Even the referees are tough. The Rebel now backing up Malomo into the wrong corner. And the Superfly and the Pitbull are just picking their shots. Dreamer comes in to break it up. But it's being sent out by the... And there, yeah, and there's the Rebel taunting Tommy Dreamer. What a mature individual is the Rebel. He is just a big bully you had in the schoolyard growing up, and he hasn't changed a bit. He's gotten bigger, but not much brighter or mature. Super fly now with the snapmare on Sal Balomo. Super fly drops the form across the throat of Balomo. Sal has got to get out of there. He's got to make the tag. Palomo fighting his way back to his feet, but has his eyes raked by Superfly Snooker. Sal Palomo unloads on Jimmy Snooker. There's those big boots. And again, Snooker trying to fight through it. Gets a hold of Palomo's hair. Headbutt. And Palomo falls like a redwood. He is just, he's so close to his corner. So close to making a tag. Tag in, Dreamer. I want to see Dreamer get his hands on the Superfly. Just last week, it was Dreamer who rushed down the ringside and put Hunter Q to sleep. Study. Wait! Palomo gets the slam on Jimmy Snooker. Make the tag, you're right there. And here comes Dreamer, Dreamer and Snooker. Here we go, we got it. Wait a minute, why are they holding him back? Snooker says he wants Dreamer, but the Rebel and the Pitbull are holding him back. They let him go, he's such a tough guy. Yeah, Dreamer pulls down the suspenders. He's ready for a business. Dreamer just drew the line on the mat. He is, he is begging. He is daring the Superfly. He wants Stuka in the worst way. Stuka trying to... Hey, come on, who are you kidding? If Jimmy Stuka really wanted a piece of Tommy Dreamer, he can fight through the Rebel and the Pitbull. Oh, and Jason and Hunter Q is holding him back. Give me a break. This is an act. If Stooker really wanted a piece of that young man, he could fight through it. Hey, come on. He's right there. Oh, 
wants to hold up? Who's the legal man? You get, you know, you're running your mouth pretty good. Well, the pit bull checked in and Tommy Dreamer is taking over on the pit bull. Back body drop, the pit bull crashing down to the canvas, and Tommy Dreamer is on fire. Dreamer off the ropes, shoulder block. And Tommy Dreamer is ready to take on any and all covers. Oh, how I wish that Jimmy Stuka was the one going up and over in the snap suplex. Dreamer off the near side, elbow across the chest, cover. One, two, two and a half. Pitbull finds the back door. That man by Dreamer. Tag into the Iron Man, Tommy Cairo. They've got a leg each. Oh, oh boy, as a double leg drop really does a number on the pit bull. And the Iron Man now stomping away on the pit bull. It was Cairo really taking a beating at the hands of the pit bull earlier in the match. Payback now, wait, and Tommy Dreamer from popcorn across the ice. Well, fight fire with fire. Pitbull shot in, here comes Dreamer, Dreamer misses. Shoulder first into the steel ring post. And that'll separate your, look at the expression of pain on Dreamer's face. Somebody better watch Jason. Thank heaven the referee was right there. We know Jason's not above taking a cheap shot or wearing a cheap suit. And Dreamer is set high into the air and comes crashing down. The Rebel will show no mercy to Tommy Dreamer, or anyone else for that matter. Dreamer up and down, side slammed by the Rockin' Rebel. Jason and Hunter, you know, they are color coordinated. It's like a pair of grapes, like watching a Fruit of Loaf commercial. Dreamer set in, Rebel sets up. Dreamer just runs through the Rebel, up and over. Rebel's looking for Tommy Dreamer, and there he is! Rebel catches a foot on the back of the head. And the Rebel looks dizzy, more so than usual. It's Dreamer and Rebel now, both men trying to get to their respective corners. Dreamer reaches back and finds Sal Balomo. Balomo now checks in, standing drop kick, standing with those 10 pound boots on, no less. The Rebel's gotta be checking for his teeth. Headbutt floors the Rebel, and a right hand floors the pit bull. And Jimmy Superfly Stuka is scooped and planted by Sal Balomo. That Italian temper has been flared. That blood is boiling. Rebel shot in reversal. Here comes Palomo. Runs through the Rebel. Picks up the Rebel and deposits him on the canvas. Palomo's unstoppable. There's the big pizza splash. One, two, three, yes! The bell has been rocked. Sal Palomo has pinned the Rebel, but on the outside, Tommy Dreamer has been floored. Winners nevertheless, but they're certainly paying for it. Tommy Cairo being assaulted by Jimmy Stuck and the pit bull. Sal Palomo got the pin. I don't think Sal knows he won the match or he's refusing to get off the Rebel. Sal Palomo now, he's in a bad way. He's being set up by the pit bull who drops a headbutt. Oh, we'll say to the lower abdominal area, although it's questionable. The Rebel drops an elbow. Here comes Jason leader of this circus. Where is Tommy Dreamer and the Iron Man? And Sal Balomo's just floored. The Rebel's wearing nuts. Well, there's Dreamer and Cairo getting back to their feet. Sal Balomo is being mugged by these three hoodlums. As Hunter Q and Jason orchestra. Wait a minute. Tommy Dreamer's got the bell. say is Jimmy Stuka showed no guts to me. He avoided Tommy Dreamer as far as I'm concerned, but he'll have nowhere to run. Ah, uh, you've got a big mouth. Stuka will have nowhere to run this Saturday night. He's got to go one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Dreamer.